All right, we're continuing on with our server basics video series uh, running Windows 2008 R2. And um, you can see the first video was setting up a domain controller. Second one was creating users and groups in Active Directory. Third one was setting up DHCP, join clients to compute or to the domain. Uh, the fourth one was network shares permissions. Fifth one was deploying wallpaper using group policy. And we're going to continue on with the whole group policy thing, but this time we're going to be deploying printers. And uh, Windows Server 2008 R2 makes life a lot easier when you're trying to deploy printers and I'll show you. So let's get on with it. All right, I have two servers here that are running on my at my house. Okay, and the main one is my domain controller, which within its roles is of course Active Directory, DHCP, DNS, file services, and Hyper-V. Now within Hyper-V is, uh, you know, Hyper-V is Microsoft's uh, hypervisor. Uh, virtual environment basically within here I have my ST server one so this is just a another server which is right here which is its roles are file services print services and a web server so we're gonna be kinda working in and out of both servers now what I did here is I set up my printers that I want to be that I want shared out on the network um, within this this server and there's just two printers right now. I have an HP 4200TN and a Minolta DI 200FS or 200F. Um, the PS is just PostScript, so it's this type of driver. Now, these two printers are just set up here and shared. Um, the really cool thing about this, and you saw that right now, is when you, after you, you install the printers on the server, you just right click it and click deploy with group policy. And it would actually push it out to group policy and I'll show you we'll, we'll kind of go through the whole process so let's say we want to share out this one and it's already deployed but that's okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go through the motion anyways let's say we want to deploy it it's gonna bring up this little deploy with group policy window and right here you can see that it's deployed using or I guess per user and per machine and let's just remove them and this is what you would see when you first open it up is there's nothing being deployed for this printer right here so you go okay well let me let me just uh, browse you want to browse to the group policy that you want to tie it to oh I guess I should rewind then let's go back to group policy over here um, now under group policy you have domains and I set up under this OU a printers group policy so you can just right click create a GPO under this domain, name it whatever you want. I'm going to do printers2 just so it's easy to notice. Okay, so now we have printers2, so ignore this printers1 right now. And we're going to go back over here, and we're going to say, okay, uh, let's browse for the group policy name, and it's going to be under Southtown because it's under Southtown here. So we're going to double click, and there's our printers2. So let's go into printers2 and say that's where we want it to be tied to and then underneath here is to deploy this printer connection to the following the users that this GPO applies to per user or the computers or both now in the past I've always done it per user um, because it was a lot easier to share or to tie a printer to deploy a printer TCP IP printer or a shared printer via uh, users now with this I, I guess there's some when you, whenever you do this, it actually adds other things to the group policy, but let's just say we want to do it to both the, the user and the machine. So no matter who logs in or, or, um, or what computer it is, anything that's under here is going to have these printers attached to it. So then we're going to go ahead and add, and you can see them in the list here. It's saying, okay, this shared printer uh, under this group policy per user is going to be applied. You just apply it, and it will... Um, Next time you GP update and force, or even restart or log off, log in one of the client computers within or under this organizational unit, those printers will be applied. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this really quick. Um, I need to redeploy that. So under printers, you would have doo -doo -doo, it was this one here deploy with group policy. We're going to browse, we're going to get to the printers both add okay so we're good there so back under the deployed printers you can see which ones are deployed so I'm sorry at first you're gonna wanna 
drill down under your server name and then under printers and that's where you're going to right click and do deploy and after that you'll find the deployed printers um, so okay and then I'm just going to remove this group policy because I don't need it anymore and it's actually going to stay in here so I'm going to remove it from here too it just unlinked it when I deleted it from that OU but um, and as you can see here if we go to printers why is my window tiny this is um, the one printer and this is the under print, other printer and the cool part about this I believe you can still set your default printer and I think it will it will stay when you restart but if we go down here let's go ahead and actually look at the settings here I'm sorry I'm kind of all over the place here um, you can see for the computer portion of it which is what you saw when we deployed it, it said computer and per user under policies when the settings printer connections um, it shows both printers both shared printers and same thing over here uh, under users so that's basic that's that's what the deploy printers um, configuration set up for us so we didn't have to actually go in there edit it and try to dig, dig around and find all those places so it, it makes it a lot easier and I've we use it at work a couple times and it's worked really good um, actually worked good here for this printer because this printer I could not get it to deploy properly until I found this deploy with group policy option and then it worked right away so you have any questions comments uh, printer stuff I mean I don't have to do any kind of login scripts or anything now it's it's uh, pretty painless at least for this situation this scenario um, all right, later.